OK, here's how we can use Microsoft Power BI with your pupil database. In this case, it's Sims, but it can be any pupil database. How we can use Power BI to analyze attendance trends over a period of time. Here we've got the screen as it comes up in its first state, which is basically analyzing all the attendance marks that we've exported. And in this case, we've exported the last three years of attendance marks. So you can see here on this attendance uh, bar chart here, We've got the attendance from two years ago, last year, and the current year here. And we've also put in a national average attendance line, and I set that to about 95%. So it gives us the line, if you like, below which we don't want to drop. I also color coded it, so you can see that if the attendance is above 96%, but less than 100%, it's green. If it's above 95%, but less than 96%, it's amber. Anything below that is red. Um, and so on. If it's perfect attendance, which we can get, certainly on the time, in the time scale of weeks and days, then it's purple. You can see there's some purple uh, uh, lines down here, which I'll explain in a minute. But you'll also have noticed that if I hover the mouse over one of these bars on the bar charts here, it gives a breakdown of attendance by year group. Here I'm using the secondary school data set, but this works just as well for primary schools as well. And it allows you to identify uh, year groups that aren't performing as well as you'd want them to do in terms of their attendance. Now, usually I want to focus down on one particular year group and I've got a, a, a filter down the side here that allows me to do that. So if I want to just look at one particular academic year, I can do. Um, I'm going to focus on the current academic year, which is this one here. And you can see here that this graph immediately just shows me the current academic year, as you'd expect. And the graph underneath is now showing me the weeks uh, of this current academic year. And you can see it's also color coded and shows me uh, the weeks where there's been a particular problem with attendance. So I can see, for example, in week one uh, was a particularly poor week. The attendance there was 92.89%. And the individual year groups, the attendance was a little bit like that. Whereas a few weeks later in week four, we had much better attendance. And you can see year seven, 12 and 13 achieved 100% attendance. And all the other year groups were at least above 96% attendance. Now, if I want to, ex to uh, dig a little bit deeper and look at the performance or underperformance of certain groups in school, I've got a lot, a lot of filters on this side of the screen. So if I just want to see my EAL pupils here, for example, I can tick on yes there. And that shows me the attendance of just the EAL pupils. And of course, I could reverse that and see the non-EAL pupils attendance like that. Take that filter off and I could combine that with any of these other filters as well. So if I wanted to see the pupil premium pupils, who are also SEM pupils, I could tick these boxes here and that will give me the attendance of that particular small group of pupils. And I can take those filters off quite easily by clicking on the little um, eraser symbol just there. If I want to analyze in more detail why I had a particular problem in a particular week, and there's, for example, this particular week, which was week 36 of the school year, I've got uh, a couple of options uh, to analyze the reasons or, the, the, or the, the figures behind this downward trend. I can right click on that column, and when I do that, I get the option to drill through into the data. And there are two drill through screens that I can choose to display. The first one I'm going to use is this percentage pupil attendance drill through, which takes me to a summary for each individual pupil. So this is just looking at this one week in May between the 4th of the 5th and the 10th of the 5th. And it's showing me what the attendance percentages were of my pupils over that particular week. And it's also ordered the column so that the poorest attenders are up at the top. And I can see there that, that Aidan Phillips there was only in school 37.5% of that particular time frame between the 4th and the 10th. And I also get to see other useful pieces of information, uh, including a summary of whether the uh, absences were authorized or unauthorized and whether they were illness related. But if I want even more details, I can drill down again. So another right click here allows me to drill through to the absence marks analysis drill through. 
which gives me a picture of that particular pupil's attendance over that particular week. And you can see for this particular pupil, there were two, two days, in other words, four sessions, where this pupil was ill and one medical appointment. And that explains why he has such a poor attendance record for that period of time. Go back to this drill through and I could continue to explore the information on there, or I can go back to my original screen. And that particular attendance marks analysis uh, drill through is very useful, but I don't have to use it at a pupil level. I can look at it at the whole school level. So I can drill through straight from uh, this graph to the absence marks analysis, click on it. And now I've got a whole school analysis of what happened over those four days in May and what really contributed towards the poor percentage attendance figure. So I've got each of the different categories for absence marks. We're just looking at absences here. We're not looking at, at, at present marks. It's just absence marks. And this is giving me a breakdown of how many pupils are in each category. Not how many pupils, rather, how many sessions were lost due to each category. Now, back on this uh, first page, I'm still looking at the current academic year between these two dates here. And I've also got a summary of key, per, key attendance statistics here. I've got the percentage attendance of this whole academic year. So over the whole academic year to date, between the 1st of September and the 17th of July, the percentage attendance figure is 95.29%. The second column looks back 12 months and says, well, on the same day last month, what was the attendance figure on that, on that, over that same period, but 12 months ago? So in the last academic year, in 2018-19, therefore, the percentage attendance figure was 96.1. So we down slightly on last year's attendance figures. The third percentage here is the all-time attendance figure. So looking at all the marks we've got, and remember we've got three years worth of attendance marks here, that's saying that over the whole of those three years, the percentage attendance was 96.67. So you've got this year, last year, and all-time uh, in, in, in one visualization here. The next visualization goes from today's date and looks back over the last 30 days and works out what the percentage attendance figure has been over that period of time. And then this uh, one looks at today's date and goes back seven days and tells us the percentage attendance for that period of time. And then finally, we in the section below that, we look at absences. And the overall absence rate between for this academic year, 1st of September to today's date, is 4.71%. 4.49% is the authorised absence rate, and we have an unauthorised absence rate of 0.22%. We have the absences uh, today, and a count of the unauthorised absence sessions, and a count of the illness sessions. Again, in this case, it's between the 1st and the 17th. And all those figures are analyzable at the whole year group level, or we could just choose a particular term, or we can choose multiple terms or multiple years. So there's a lot of flexibility in how we can calculate this. As I say, this is part of the School Analytics Power BI solution.